Okay, in this video we're looking at what to do when our C term is negative in a quadratic. Now the C term here is usually written as the last term. It's the constant or just the number. And here we have negative 90 for a C term. If you're thinking of it as subtract 90, that's also correct. But subtracting 90 and adding negative 90 are equivalent. But So it's useful here to look at this as if this term is negative 90. So what does this mean? if we have a negative term. What's so nice is that if the, we have a negative term, before we figure out the exact details of how to factor this, right, we put our x's in here, we know that one of the factors must be positive and the other might, must be negative. And this goes back to the fact that we're looking at um, factors of c that add up to this b term. But if c is negative, we can only use two types of factors, positive and negative, right? In other words, it has to be a positive times a negative, because if we have a negative product, the only way to get that is by multiplying out a positive and a negative. If we chose two positive or two negative factors, that would multiply to give us a positive C value, which is not what we have here. So when I look at factors of negative 90, um, I think to myself, okay, I need one positive and one negative, and they have to add to positive one. So what do I choose? Well, I'm going to choose 10 times negative 9, one positive and one negative. They multiply to get negative 90, and if I add 10 plus negative 9, I get positive 1. So you want to choose uh, a larger positive value here because you want to add them up to get a positive result. So if the C term is negative, we know we need to have a positive 10 and a negative 9, and then we're done. If we check this, it factors and multiplies back out to the original term. x times x, x squared. x times negative 9 is negative 9x. 10 times x is 10x. And 10 times negative 9 is negative 90. Simplify this, 10x and negative 9x is x minus 90. So x squared, right? plus x minus 90, and that's our original term. So the tip here is, again, if you have a negative c value, you know right away one term will be positive and the other will be negative. Even if we change this around, so it says x squared minus x, so I'm changing the original equation, minus 90, the same rule applies. Now I'm looking for a positive and a negative factor that multiplied a negative 90, right, so one positive, and one negative that multiply a negative 90 but add to what? Well this is now negative 1x. So what two products of negative 90 add to negative 1? Well it's just the reverse. Negative 10 times 9 gives us negative 90 but negative 10 plus 9 gives us negative 1. So again we have one negative factor, negative 10, and one positive 1, positive 9. And that'll always work. Because, again, of the reason, if you want to get a negative C value, the only way to multiply out to a negative value is to pick one positive and one negative factor. All right, hope this helped.